Hello folks, it is a beautiful midsummer day here at Bugs in a Jar Farm in the beautiful Finger Lakes of New York. We are up at the Seahorse in the Pines tiny house and I, j I just need to do one more video specifically addressing the subject of mice. Is there a possibility that you will see a mouse in your tiny house at Bugs in a Jar Farm, whether it be seahorse, blue dragon, or hummingbird? I would like to tell you there is no chance, no chance you will ever encounter a mouse in your tiny house but I simply can't do it, folks. Uh, one more time, if uh, I haven't drilled this in in other videos, we do have mice at Bugs in a Jar Farm. They are part of nature. We are talking deer mice specifically. Uh, guys, one more time, I need to explain these are these are rustic, rustic tiny houses in the woods, uh, you know, lumbered and built by the, these Amish guys. Uh, and while we do our utmost to keep mice out of your house, eventually they get back in. Eventually, uh, no matter how hard I try and I get rid of the mice and I block the way they're getting in, eventually the mice are going to chew their way back in. And the only way I know this is when a guest at Bugs in a Jar reports to me that there was a mouse inside the house, at which point I take care of the situation. So uh, it's, a, it's a fairly rare occurrence that you will actually see a mouse inside your tiny house. There is a better chance that you might hear a mouse inside the walls inside the walls trying to get in to the uh, into the tiny house the vast majority of times you will be dealing with mice is hearing them scurrying around inside the walls while they're working their way back in and uh, as I say guys I do everything I can to keep these little boogers out of here but uh, I draw the line at poisons. I do not use poisons for two reasons. Number one, the only thing worse than a live mouse inside the wall of a cabin is a dead mouse inside the walls of the cabin, which uh, I'm not ready to deal with. The other thing is I have already killed my cat. You know, they eat these poisons and then a cat or a dog or some guest visiting's dog uh, eats a mouse that's been poisoned, then the cat or the dog dies. I have already killed one cat. I, I just am not going to use poisons. Uh, so the bottom line of could there be a mouse in my tiny house? The answer to the question is yes. There could be a mouse. There probably will not be a mouse in your tiny house. However, one more time, if, if the mild risk of sharing your tiny house for a night with a two-inch mouse 
is is going to absolutely ruin your vacation. If, if, if the very thought of sharing your cabin with a two-inch mouse is going to ruin your vacation, bugs in a jar farm is probably not the right pick for you. I do not want people to have their vacation ruined over a two-inch mouse. So I cannot be any clearer about this. I do the best I can, guys, but we share the planet with other earthlings, and mice happen to be one of them. So, enough said on that subject. If you have any more questions about mice, you can contact me through Airbnb. Thank you. Bye, guys.